we before we start, um, have, do we know the running order as well? Yeah, who are we going with first? Yep, go on. David, can I introduce... Oh, sorry, Helena, well? sorry. So, um, I'm Sophie, and this is Helena. Helena, she is my work colleague. She works up in the office with me, and she's our digital media coordinator. She's quite interested in it. Yeah, so I asked her to come along too. First, before we start on our presentations, we say a little bit about um, education. So, you've come from school, the majority have come from school, and you've come for a system where it teaches you how to pass, how to gain good grades. But I don't think that's a good education for when you leave and go and get a job in the big wide world. I think education is about experimentation and making mistakes. Because if you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. And if you don't learn, you don't discover. And what we try to do, what I try to do for you guys, is find your way. Okay? And by finding your way, you make mistakes. Which is fantastic. Because I want you to make mistakes. And you know that you've made mistakes along the way, especially on this project, which equally reinforces what education is all about. Okay? So, this presentation is not just about what you are presenting to Sophie, but what, more importantly, what you've learnt along the way. Now, these are in no means uh, finalised, polished presentations. I have to bear in mind that they are students on a, a unique discovery on this project because it was something that they've never been exposed to before to this level. So this was something I was really excited about. I came along to see uh, Sophie in a meeting at the beginning of semester one and you spoke to me about how can we uh, improve the website on AUT so that students could enrol on papers throughout the whole of AUT. And there's one specific thing Sophie said at that meeting. She says, how can we improve our website? That's, don't you remember, that's kind of what you said in the meeting. As a designer, as a design thinker, that is a tremendous challenge for me because that says to me, is it about improving a website? Or is it about discovering something new? Something that we haven't thought about? So that's why I said to say, I says, is this going to be just about making, uh, putting that information on, on, on a website? So let's find out how we can go about this. And when I then come back to you guys and we wrote the brief, that's when we started to discover all these other areas, all these other rich areas of education. And that's why you clever little things come out with all these different ideas. Not just thinking, oh, you know, how can we make a website look better, but as a student, what would you want from university? Now that's very powerful. Because normally we don't think in that way. Normally we get outside agencies to come in and we say to them, uh, how can you do this? How would you approach this? We don't normally do it from inside out, if you like, by saying to you, you're the client, how would you like to improve this knowledge? And what would you like to see? And how would it look? So that's how we approached <laughs> this brief. Okay, so, um, with that, I'd like to invite the first group up to give their presentations.